Hi, I'm Jason from Cirque Rentals, and today I'd like to share with you a little bit about uh, the Snow Peak Titanium French Press. Uh, this is available for rent or demo on our website, uh, www-cirque-rentals.com. Uh, if you want to check it out, take it out for a weekend, see how you like it, um, or if you happen to be doing a backpacking trip and you just need some gear, uh, this is an awesome piece of gear. Uh, it's titanium, first of all, uh, which is fantastic, so it's super lightweight. Um, I would consider it ultralight if, if you call bringing a French press with you on a backpacking trip ultralight. Uh, oftentimes on ultralight trips I just take instant coffee but uh, you just can't beat a fresh batch of French press coffee um, so this is really nice product by Snow Peak uh, it's titanium uh, I don't know if you can tell on the camera there uh, but it is graduated uh, so you have markings for um, uh, 200 milliliters, uh, 300 milliliters, and 500 milliliters or a half liter, um, which is really nice. And that pairs up really nicely with the Trek 700. We've got some water that we brought up to boil here. I'm just keeping it warm uh, for our coffee. Uh, and so I, I usually do a half liter in there and then I put a half liter, pour it straight into the French press. Um, it's also marked for three um, servings. They're not actual cups, at least I don't think they are. It's possible, um, but three servings of coffee. Uh, I tend to drink them all myself, uh, but you can of course share this uh, with a friend or two uh, and then make another batch. Uh, but the French press itself is titanium. Uh, the lid cap is also titanium. Uh, and then you do have some, you know, French press parts in here that are stainless steel and, um, you know, rubber and other things like that um, that you need for a French press. Uh, but great product overall, really good compact design. Like all of you know, many of your camping uh, products by Snow Peak, uh, the handles fold in, which makes it really packable and it nests inside your Trek 700. Um, so so uh, that's a really nice thing. You can't put the lid on the Trek 700, but it'll, it'll sit inside it in your pack and not take up as much space uh, in there. So I'm gonna show you how to use it here to have a nice batch of coffee. Um, so as you can see on here, uh, we've got graduations at 200 um, milliliters, 300 and 500. Um, I'm typically gonna put in, I like my coffee strong. Um, so I generally put in anywhere from, you know, what would be the 100 milliliter mark or the 200 milliliter mark um, with coffee. I've already got some measured out here. So we're just gonna pour our coffee in there first. Get that in there. Looks about right, you could add a little bit more. And then uh, we already have our water brought up to temperature here. And I've already measured this out at a half liter. Go ahead and turn our stove off. So we're gonna pour that half liter directly in. with our grounds. And then we're gonna give those grounds a stir. Make sure they're all kind of mixed in and all nice and wet and soaking up that water there. And then you can kind of bring your um, plunger up. Just go ahead and tuck that in there. Keep your plunger up. We just want to hold that heat in there and kind of let things sit. And we're going to let the French press sit for about two to four minutes. Um, if you let it sit too long after, you know, three or four minutes, your coffee is going to start to get a little bit more bitter. Um, I guess it all depends on how you like your coffee, but I usually let it sit for about two to three minutes um, uh, before I plunge it uh, and pour a cup of coffee. I'll occasionally stir it a couple more times in there, but you can, you can leave it alone as well. Uh, the whole idea with the weight is that you also want your coffee grounds to start to settle at the bottom. And so if you're constantly stirring it and agitating those coffee grounds, it's gonna be a little bit harder to plunge uh, and you may get a little bit more uh, coffee grounds showing up in your coffee uh, or what we would call in the backcountry cowboy coffee. Um, you can cook on the French press. You know, one question a lot of people ask is why don't you just boil the water in the French press? And you can certainly do that. Um, Snow Peak does not recommend that you cook or uh, boil water with the lid and the plunger inserted. And I'm not sure exactly why, I assume it's because of some of the, the rubber or plastic parts in there you probably don't want to bring up to too hot of a temperature, especially if they sink to the bottom and they're closer to that heat source, um, you know, that, that could damage the product or, or possibly, you know, who knows, release some of the, the chemicals in those, in those um, 
materials, but they don't recommend cooking um, with the lid on, and, and I never do, I, I never have. Um, without the plunger and everything, it's, it's assembled to the lid, and so that's one of the reasons, one of two reasons I don't cook with the French press itself. Um, I prefer to cook on my Trek 700 uh, and boil the water in this, and then just pour it into the French press, um, mainly because I have a lid, so I can keep that heat contained and keep some of the pressure contained in my cook pot um, and bring my water up to a boil or whatever temperature I want for my coffee a little bit faster. Um, so that's the number one reason. Um, the second reason that I like to use the Trek 700 as opposed to boiling the water in the French press uh, is the, the Trek 700 is a little bit wider. And so when I'm using a camp stove like this, which already has a very small base uh, and a very small heating um, element, that wider base lets me capture and absorb more of that heat. And so I bring more water, more surface area of the water closer to the flame and um, closer to the heating source. Uh, and so I find that to work a little bit better for me. Um, you could certainly cook on the French press, like I mentioned, take the lid out, pour the water in and just cook without a lid. And it will sit just fine on a backpacking stove like this or the Lightmax titanium stove. Um, you could bring it up to temperature in probably about the same amount of time. And so if you only wanted to take one uh, cook pot with you, you could take the French press, um, boil your water for coffee in it, and, and then of course drink your coffee. You could boil water in it to then put into a dehydrated meal, and you could just leave your Trek 700 at home and just bring the French press with you uh, if you wanted to do that. The only downside would be that you lose uh, the option of, um, of cooking with a lid and capturing that heat. Um, an in-between step is that you could bring just the French press and still maybe bring your uh, Trek 700 lid or another lid like um, this that can sit on top of the French press while you're cooking and then you are capturing that heat and that would work great. And this isn't so huge, you could nest it on the bottom of your French press in your backpack and that wouldn't take up very much space. It would sit nicely in the windscreen if you're taking the Gigapower stove as well. So uh, great options there all around. And we're right at about three minutes or so here. So I think we're about ready. We could go ahead and pour this cup of coffee. So again, we've let it sit. We've let our coffee grounds settle. And then we're just going to very slowly depress our plunger. And I try and I try and do it really slow and I try and make sure I've still got pressure on all the sides of the French press so that I know I'm pushing those grounds down on the side and hopefully not too many of them are slipping past the plunger. There's a hole in the top which of course will let some steam out and it will let some pressure out as you're pushing the plunger down. All right, and I can feel there that I'm all the way down on my coffee grounds. Give a little bit of a press there. All right, uh, now I'm just gonna pour it into my mug. Um, today I've got my Snow Peak 450, 450 milliliter mug, double wall. I'm just gonna pour that coffee right in. It's piping hot, which is nice. We'll let that cool a little bit. And uh, a couple other camping tips that I'll share you for coffee prep. These are not things I'd necessarily take backpacking, although I might, um, but certainly would take car camping with me. Um, I grab these little uh, Nalgene containers. You can pick them up at you know any place you can buy a Nalgene. Um, most camping stores will have them. This is the one ounce size. You can get it in a two ounce, four ounce, eight ounce. Um, and I just bring a little bit of oat milk or whatever you might like to put in your coffee, depending on what you're making. Um, probably wouldn't take this container with me backpacking, but uh, I like to prepare, um, you know, if, if there's, are people in my group that like uh, mocha or something like that, um, I think this one is a spicy mocha, so it's a little bit of coffee powder, a little bit of cayenne pepper, some cinnamon, uh, and then of course you could add as, as much or as little sweetener um, as you'd like to a mixture like this, and it's dry. Um, so, you know, however much you think you might need for a trip, you know, find a lightweight container, maybe another one of these um, for your, your coffee mixture for the day. Um, go ahead and pour that in with your coffee. 
if you're going to use you know something as a creamer maybe some oat milk in my case you know just pour a little bit of that in and then you could use a spoon to stir it you could not stir it at all um, when I'm car camping, I like to take one of these little frothers with me. They're not the lightest weight, but they're pretty small. They're very packable. Um, we use this at home sometimes too, but it just spins. And you can use this to create a really nice mixture in your coffee. If you're warming up milk or oat milk or something on its own, you can use this to froth the milk up before you pour it in. Uh, I usually will just kind of mix it in as I'm going. It just mixes everything up really nicely and you get a nice coffee foam on top it kind of seems a little bit more like an, an espresso uh, and it froths up your milk or cream or whatever you're using um, and it's just a really nice thing to bring to a car camping situation i wouldn't bring that backpacking with me at all um, but just a really nice thing uh, when you're at base camp or car camping with the family. Um, so that's a little bit about the French press uh, by Snow Peak Titanium French Press uh, and you know a couple tips on how to make a nice cup of coffee at camp. I'm Jason from Cirque Rentals. Thanks for watching.